Thank you so much for clicking on this video and supporting the form filler. It would be awesome if you could do the following for me. Please like this video. Please share it with someone that you think could benefit from it. If you've got a question or a comment, leave that for me below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And of course, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to this channel. And now, on to the video. Holidays are great. Airports can be anything but. Rather than put up with a chaos, you could try free or cheap airport lounges. Hospitality areas where you can put your feet up and enjoy a coffee or food before you jet off. You don't always need to fly business or first to relax in a lounge. And when you're in, standard facilities and some food tend to be free. Lounges at airports are often seen as reserved for those who can afford luxury travel. True, to get into an airline lounge run by the likes of British Airways or Virgin Atlantic, you often need a business or first class ticket, or to be a serious frequent flyer. But there are also airport lounges, usually run by companies that own lounges and terminals, such as Number One Lounges and Swissport. These are open to all, regardless of ticket class. You can often buy one-off passes or even get in free. Whichever type of lounge you're in, food and drink is usually free. You may also be able to shower or watch TV, read a paper and charge your devices in peace and quiet. Sometimes you have to pay for the really high-end stuff such as a haircut or a massage. Not all lounges have spas and champagne. As a general rule, airline lounges tend to be airport lounges. But it's not a universal rule, especially as quality can vary and be a matter of opinion. Airport lounges. They're relaxing, but usually not as luxurious as those run by airlines. Here, not all five-star treatment, but they can be a good escape from the airport hustle and bustle. For example, at Gatwick's Aspire Lounge, you can pick up a newspaper or magazine while enjoying a drink at no extra cost. And that includes beer and wine, and snacks including pasta, fruit and pastries. So, how about two free airport lounge passes with Amex Gold? Successful applicants can take full advantage of the Amex Gold's perks. You don't even need to spend on it to get the passes. The lounges you can access are airport lounges, not high-end airline ones. And again, facilities can vary, so check the reviews beforehand. So how about two free lounge passes plus a voucher worth £50 with Amex Gold? The Amex Preferred Rewards Gold credit card is a good option for frequent flyers. If you're accepted for the card, you'll get membership for the lounge club scheme. It gets you two free visits a year to its affiliated lounges, which you can use for yourself or a guest. Plus, if you spend £3,000 within the first three months, you'll get a bonus 10,000 reward points on top of the normal one point per £1 spend. The bonus is equal to £50 in vouchers, 10,000 Avios points or Virgin Flying Club miles and more. Now, the card usually has a £140 annual fee, but it is fee free in the first year. So to avoid it, remember to cancel before year two starts. So how do I get into a lounge and how long can I stay? You can't book a space, you simply rock up and can stay for a maximum of three hours. While this means you can be flexible, the risk is the lounge is full when you get there, though this is rare. If you're interested in signing up for any American Express credit card, why not check out the links in the description box below. There you'll find a bonus £10 cashback when you sign up for the Platinum Cashback Everyday credit card or earn a bonus 2,000 membership rewards points when you sign up for the preferred rewards gold credit card. But do remember, you will only get these rewards when you click through these exclusive links to the American Express website. And by doing so, you'll be supporting the Form Filler channel. Thanks again for showing your support to this channel. It really means the world to me. I'm really glad that these videos have been helping people out. Thank you for showing your support by subscribing, by liking these videos, by leaving me comments and questions, and by sharing this video with someone else that you might think may benefit from it. I've had people reach out to me and ask me how they can donate, ensuring that I can get these videos out on a more regular basis and just trying to ensure that the quality of the content is always uh, on the up. Uh, so if you're looking to just uh, send any cash my way as a thank you, that'd be amazing. Uh, if you have a PayPal account, all you have to do is go to my unique PayPal link, which is paypal.me and that's slash the form filler. As you can see on the screen, uh, you can donate in any currency that you have from the options in the drop down box and you can donate any amount, big or small, uh, goes a long way and I'm extremely appreciative of it.